Hey, it's Scott with Pop Pops Wood Shop. Uh, this morning, morning for me anyway. Um, I am working on a platform that actually goes inside an RV in the stairwell when you come in the side door. Um, so what I've done is, let me turn this around so you can see. So what's what I've done here is, this is the board. It's made out of poplar. Um, it will sit in the well so nobody will fall in that well during the night kind of thing anyway I've on my CNC I've carved out Lake Texahoma and I'm gonna epoxy fill that with blue but before you epoxy fill you want to seal the wood so 99.9% .9 of the time I use a spray to do this but the sheer honesty of it is the spray has gotten so expensive that uh, I, it's hard to justify that cost. And yeah, you can say, oh, pass that along to the customer, but that just means this is getting more expensive and it's getting more and more difficult. So anyway, so what I've done is I have it in the can. It's a brushable, uh, deft sanding sealer. So I'm putting that on and I'm going to put a couple coats of it on. And then uh, later today, when this is dried for at least a few hours, I will uh, epoxy fill all the lake with blue and the wording in black, and then uh, let it sit overnight, come back in the morning and sand her down and begin finishing the project as far as the uh, lacquer and whatnot, because that's what I'm going to use on the top of it, it's lacquer. And I wholeheartedly love Def products. I mean, they this dries extremely quick, does a very good job, sands out smooth, smooth, smooth. It's just, uh, you know, the stuff's darn near 20 bucks a can on Amazon. So you're like, Jesus, Jenny, that's... I, got, I started using it very sparingly, to be honest. Now when I do bowls, I finish them out with deft gloss, high gloss. <coughs> There's a lot of fumes coming off of this. So I don't know what I'm going to do when I start turning bowls again for a finish. I have to come up with something because the lacquer's just gotten kind of stupid crazy. So anyway, out of this whole process, I'm going to brush this lake full, make sure I get the edges real well um, in the lake. Because if you don't, the epoxy liquid part of it will actually wick up in there and bring the color with it. And you'll have all these fibers full of that blue and you can't hardly sand it out. So it's easier to prevent it. But... uh I wanted to do this on the laser, and long story short, it won't fit. So I have a P2 laser over here, and uh, it's just not big enough for this size of, of a board. So I gotta buy a bigger laser. That's all there is to it. If you're gonna continue this line of work. <laughs> Uh, I've only been doing it forever. Mm -hmm. But I will, I will actually seal the whole board so I get an even coating and look when I fin when I go to finish out the board. And I'm going to put on the edges of this. I'm going to put actually. Um, breadboard ends on it which I'll run a piece of walnut lengthwise here attach it to the end and uh, hopefully I'll get that done today but anyway that's all I got just a just a quick conversation about sealing your wood before you epoxy 
so the wood does not transfer your colors all over the place and you end up causing yourself more work. Alright, till next time.